Welcome back to the Acer Team Story Cup. This is a best of nine between these two teams, but it's worth noting this could possibly be the last game. Their ace player on their last life, game number five. Here we are with the bottom more the bottom middle portion of the map. I don't know where I was going with that. The bottom middle portion of the map from Invictus Gaming, the Blue Protoss Jim. His opponent at the top right is gonna be the red Terran player from Acer's Team Acer. What am I so I got distracted by a sub to wit forty nine? Thanks very much, man. It is the red Terran player, Acer Innovation. So he's doing pretty good so far today, I'd say. With a four owner's belt, this could be the all kill he's looking for. Knock on wood, of course. Hope that it doesn't get uh, ruined by the caster jinx, but innovation I think is one of the few players immune to curses and jinxes. I don't know what voodoo he has going for him, but he's a pretty solid player. And I want to stress this again, guys. We didn't get to see the full force of Jim in the first series today. He's a really talented player. I'm not just making this up. We've seen him before in the past. We've seen him in WCS. He's a good freaking Protoss. And with upsets that we've seen recently, like, for example, State beating out Polt yesterday for Red Bull, I wouldn't put it past Jim to have the capabilities to beat Innovation. But he didn't get to show it in game number one, and this is the one that matters the most. Because if he loses this game, then it's an all-kill, that's it, wrap it up, boys, go ho, call it, we're done, type thing. So he's got, he's really got to pull it back here. Now, for Innovation, he's not opted to go for Chase here as the opening. In fact, with the earlier gas, we may even see the Reaper come out for scouting. I think at this point, you know, you cheese out someone the first time. They're going to be coming back with a little bit of vengeance, a little bit of piss and some vinegar for game, uh, I guess, the, the rematch, so to speak. But the scary thing to consider, too, for us, well, not for us, for us is exciting. For for entirety of Invictus Gaming, is Jim's their last hope. He's got to beat out Innovation, Scarlet, Nurchio, Paranoid, Bly, MMA, whoever else they decide to throw at them. And for innovation, well, he's got to get past that hurdle first, and that, that alone is going to be difficult enough. But, alright, faster factory once again. Jim does scout this, so he may be a little bit wary of Widow Mines. I kind of wish he had taken a second guess himself, instead of going for the, the Gateway Expand build. Because if he had done that second guess, he could have done a Proxy Oracle, and innovation would have been, I don't know, crying in his sleep. <laughs> Uh, as long as Jim waits for that time with the Metavex already out of the base, because eh, he could just put the Wood Mine in the mineral lines, play super defensive. In fact, Innovation might end up doing that at a Paranoia. Probably not, though. He, he with The first game he put the. Uh, no. Second time with versus Max Eddie, he put the Wood Mine on the ramp, so I don't think that's what he's going to be doing here. But we do have a Zealot poking across the map, and this Zealot will get wrecked by the Wood Mine. There's almost the mine. There's like, uh, what? The Roach, the Immortal. Outside of massive tier 3 units, like Ultras, of course. Uh, there's the Roach, the Immortal. I think a tank is about the only other thing I can think of that doesn't get one shot by a widow mine. But the thing about the widow mine as well, guys, it was buffed a couple patches ago to do a lot of bonus damage versus shield. So even if it doesn't kill a unit like an immortal, it takes it all shields down pretty much right away. A free EMP, more or less, if you will. But probe goes down. First blood. Zealot decides to get involved with the fight. This widow mine is gonna unburrow because he wants to go off on the stalker, not top of the zealot. However, we'll miss that shot. Continue to push forward here. Not enough marines to actually deal with the mothership core. Jim getting really aggressive. Uh, for those who don't know, you need three marines to deal with this. However, he's got to stay away from that mine. He knows it too. Trying so carefully to stay outside of that range. He doesn't have the DPS to kill it. But uh, he's got the DPS to deal with the marines, that's for certain. Now, this mothership core is going to die this time, guys. Time warp goes down just on the off chance that it does die, and it does, in fact, die. This will keep the hellings back a little bit longer, but we've got the second stalker joining the fray. Jim getting really aggressive with this push. Picks off the one marine. SCV's on top of the fight here, too. Another marine pops out of the barracks just in the nick of time, so he will kill off the first stalker. The second stalker's still going to run around do a bit of damage. This hellion, though, is not dealing nearly as much damage as the SCVs are. He picks up the new Widowmine and he starts carrying it across the map, hoping Jim has no detection. And Jim, quite frankly, at the moment has no detection. But guys, with good control, and I want to stress this, with perfect control, you can still take very minimal damage from this Widowmine. If you see the Widowmine burrow, pull all the probes away from that base, leave one sitting on top of it. Innovation will then be forced to either unburrow it or take the shot on one single probe. Jim should be okay for this. This, I mean, unless he pulls like a max head and moves his Colossus into the army type thing. It's not the same, same vitality here. As long as he doesn't mess up, he should be good. In fact, pulls the probes on top of this. Won't kill it in time. There's going to be a big hit that goes off and oh my god, six probes die. No sound effect. Why was there no sound effect for that? Oh, that's why I hate using the guard head one. Multi-kill always breaks. That should not have happened. Jim 
Oh, Jim, don't forget that Widowmine's there. You're gonna have to deal with round two in a moment. Good stalker hold position on the ramp, though. He did see Hellions being produced when he was attacking in Innovation Space, so he knew that there was gonna eventually be Hellions. So the hold position on the ramp, really slick move. Pulls these probes away, though. A little bit scared of that Widowmine going off. He knows that it's about to come. The shot's gonna sting. Alright, uh, gets one probe kill for this. Uh, chance for the natural to be safe, but that actually opens the door for the Hellions, expecting this was Innovation. Oh, no, he wasn't. What? He can see with the Widowmine, though. He knows there's no probes left in this mineral line. I'm surprised he didn't just go straight to the uh, to the natural. That would have gotten so many probe kills. But okay, a decent probe kill count nonetheless. 11 workers killed. Cleans up the Hellions. Jim not in the worst spot in the universe right now. Could be worse. But it's worth noting, guys, he did not remake that Mothership Core. And without that Mothership Core, that means there's not going to be the potential for Photon Overcharge, which means no easy defense, which means, well, troubled times, quite frankly. Stim's coming out for innovation as well. A little bit delayed because, of course, he invested so much gas in combination medevacs and widow mines. And it was a bit awkward, but whether the actual physical damage done was worthwhile or not, that'll be reflected as we get more towards the mid game. I mean, ah, 12 probes. It sucks. It really does. But as you'll notice, both players are on the same worker count at the moment. Innovation with the advantage of mules, but. Jim has been using all of his chrono energy to make up for this loss. Gets the Mothership Core out a little bit quicker, and... Oh, his warp tech is so late. Oh, Jesus. Uh, this might not be something that costs him the end of the game or anything as such, but... With his warp tech being so late, if Innovation were to hit right now, you couldn't exactly warp in Stalkers to defend. You couldn't warp in Sentries for Force Fields. And that's not going to happen. He's not producing anything at the moment either. He doesn't have the money for it. And Immortal's coming out. There's four Stalkers, but... Oh, God, these Stalkers cannot get caught in the middle of the map. Concussive Shells is on the way. Uh, or are on the way rather. Once concussive shells finish up, these stalkers gonna get kited down slowly but surely. I need to get away from this right away. Oh, he's so tempted to go for that medevac. If he had, that would have been his death for sure. Jim, guys, it's because he doesn't have that overcharge ready that he's on such a very dangerous position right now. If the overcharge was done, if he had the energy for this, this would be a no-brainer. You're like, ha ha, go to the main. I'm good. But no, that Mothership Core was so late, and that may end up costing the game here, I don't know. The Immortal coming down will bust through the Marauders like nobody's business, though, but does he have the DPS for the Marines is the question. Still no overcharge for seven in-game seconds. Neither of the Marauders went down. Two more Marauders are coming. Oh, Jim has no Zealots available. Now warping a couple in. His warp deck finally finishes. His kicks in just in the nick of time. And an overcharge while available, not being popped. There we go. Overcharge does go down. He can focus the medevac if he wants with the Stalkers, and he pushes Innovation back. Problem is, as we see, Innovation picks up and he's just going to go to the main. This does buy Jim that little bit of time he needed, though, to get the Colossus coined out to maybe warp in another round of Zealots. He's got the money for it, but he's just waiting for the cooldown on the gateways, of course. More Stalkers, actually, rather than the Zealots. Not a bad choice. Focuses down things like the Marauders. Try to micro some of these units back. Goes to the Medivac Snipe, actually. That's really smart. Really keen there. Ah, uh, but these Marines get on top of the army just a little bit too strong. Jim will hold once again, though. His army supply, not looking so hot, though. Don't forget, you got a couple observers and a useless mothership core at the moment. It's chewing up a good chunk of the supplies, so it's even worse than it initially appears. But we got the Colossus out now. There is no extended thermal landswing research right now. And this was this isn't one of those instances where Jim simply forgot. This is one of those instances where he doesn't have the money to actually build it. Well, Innovation looking to push once again. There is no overcharge, there's no time warp, and there's no range for this Colossus. Force fields are going to be the the ghetto difference between this game winning and defeating. Uh, Guardian Shield is not going to cut it. He really needs good force fields to lock this down. Blink is on the way to chase the medevacs a little more effectively, but he doesn't need Blink right now, guys. I think he knows charge isn't going to cut it either, but he's in a bad spot where either way. Uh, extended Thermal Lance needs to get started, though. Maybe perhaps this is the scenario where Jim is starting to forget about it. Third base for innovation on the way, and while he doesn't have Vikings yet, he's going to be able to start producing those very soon. You don't need more than four medevacs. Uh, but he's not too worried about the Colossus count at the moment. Still two of them, pretty strong. There we go. Extended Thermal Lance now on the way. For those who don't know why I'm making such a big deal about this, the Extended Thermal Lance is the difference of the Colossus being in range of the Marauders versus not. Marauders have the, sh the exact same range as the Colossus without that upgrade. So stimming forward, it's not too hard of a task to pull off. That's why you need those Force Fields. So he'll back up the first Colossus. He'll keep this one alive. Second one will go down. Those to Jim with a little bit of slip control there. But the Zealots get on top of the army pretty darn nicely. And this will force Innovation back. Cost him a Colossus, but also got about half of Innovation's army for it. Still down in supply in a big way. This doesn't get any easier for Jim, but he does have an overcharge available at this point. So it'll make the a very big difference in this fight. But Widowmine's Burrow, he's got to be so careful. 
about these shots going off. The Colossus still no stand from Let's loses another Colossus, a third one on the way. But this is looking worse and worse. These, I mean, the medvacs are just healing through the uh, the uh, photon overcharge here. This is looking really bad for Jim. I think Innovation is about to secure his all kill. There's three stalkers warping in, but that's about it. There might not be a lot of bio at the moment, but the reinforcements are streaming across the map. And these Widowmines, oh god, those Widowmines. GG is called in in a 5-0 very quick fashion we wrap up the acer team story cup innovation versus jim innovation versus invictus gaming a 5-0 all kill